Hello, everybody, this is a famous commoner show, and it's your boy, famous commoner Vic. So, hope you guys are having a fantastic time. Just let's just jump into this, and I'm a bit giddy to talk about this. We're going to talk about an entity known as Cyan Head. It is a folklore made around Western country places. I don't care about those. And this is done by Trevor Henderson, the guy who makes arts and stuff. This guy is cool. Check him out on Twitter and Instagram. He's really awesome. So, yes. You may think, why is this video exists on the internet? I really want to put some input to make some theories, some observations to make my own points about the siren head. A bit, uh, a more fruitful thought if I have to be, you know, if I have to be a little simplistic. So, yes. Observations are the things I've done for research. I'm not an extensive research boy, but I found some couple of theories on my hand sleeves. So I'm gonna discuss the theories and debunk them. If they are, if they make kind of make sense, I will accept them. So the first theory that is like a, uh, it's a really really primal organism that has existed even before humans, and they say they say they have like uh, cavemen paintings and so. You know what? No, that's totally false because looking at that thing if if that that existed that long i don't think it it might have a really thick of legs it may adopt some sort of evolution that made it into things it looks like a half assed half haphazardly made creature it's it has really thin legs it has really uh, like long disproportionate arms and such so I don't think it's like a really successful evolution that it's having now so I don't think it's like existed if that existed it now for with now it will be way too advanced for humans than let's say and the drawing with the actual siren heads go go off dude go away okay that's just stupid. If you said there's like a primal species and this is a subspecies, I could it that could make a lot of sense. But they're saying actual caveman painting with the siren heads around. Uh, I'm not buying it. Go away. <laughs> and the second theory is it is an alien. Uh, n no, you 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 now you just gave up. You're not even imagining. <laughs> even the primal theory had some imagination, but the people are saying it's an alien, and I don't think so, dude. It's you just give like, gave up. These guys are just running away from the imagination. And yes, even though it's an alien, let's imagine. Let's imagine there's an alien that flies in its own planet, because obviously it has lesser gravitational pull, or more, but still in, in spite that's flying. It's a bit dumb for alien, but yeah, let's go with it. If it's coming to Earth, it's not like some. It's a, it is an organism, not a magical entity. As I said, this is an actual organic entity, so it should follow the rules of Earth. So alien is out of the chart. People say magic. No, go away. I don't even need to explain this. Go away. Don't say it's a magic or a ghost. You just piss off, okay? No. Go away. And, yes, people are actually having this interesting TV where it's like, uh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like uh, uh, a reincarnation of uh, dead people or like kill, like, you know, homicide of homicided people. Who are reincarnated as Siren Head, but like said, with the characteristic is uh, as their head. Like with the Siren Head, they really love to talk. Like if they're having electric posts, they love phones. They have they love electricity related things like phones or something. I don't know. Uh, yes, it's a really interesting title. It's a really really interesting theory. But one thing, this is not a paranormal entity. If this is a paranormal entity, this this theory made sense, but it's not a paranormal entity. It's an actual organic entity. So I am sorry, it's not plausible. I'm not buying it, but still, really really good TV. But it's a it's a bit silent hellish. I'm sorry for that, but still, really interesting TV. Thank you. So yes, these are the theories I found around the internet. 
a little less. I said a handful, but a little less. So yes, I am actually said these these kind these theories have lots and lots of flaws. So yes, I'm gonna see the Siren Head as an organic entity. I'm not seeing this as alien, ghost, or whatever else people say this is. So organic entity, organic, a natural organic entity, like an organism that lives on Earth. Okay. I'm going to say and make a point that this is not dumb. The organism here, this depicted here, is not actually dumb. This is actually a really, really complex being that we are seeing here. Obviously, we can't see it in real life. But it moves. It not just moves, it huts down people, it mimics voices, making loud noises, knowing that it decapitates or incapacitate people and such. So we can know that it has a brain to think like a hunter and having this tight hunter plans, hunting plans and having hunting schemes to come in and out. So I'm gonna say this is not a dumb as a blink kind of organism. It's not a pleb. It is really, really intelligent, a really complex, sophisticated being that is stuck with us, with us human trash. So let's go with this. And there's another point to make. This is not man-made, and this is confirmed by Trevor Henderson himself. The Siren Heads are like, you know, the Siren Heads that is explained as these are like adapting things that just like, you know, in the cartoon they have the two bush, they hide it for two branches and such to hide. It's kind of like that. It's not actually man-made. These are artif these are not artificial. These are actual all natural things. So, we can say this is not man-made. So, there's another theory that's going on that says this is like some war machine that's, uh, that's like gone away to, to scare off war people and such. So, that thing is out of the yard now. So, <laughs> yeah. And there's actually a discussion about it's being SCP or not. For me, it's not. It's not SCP because it's not captured by the SCP for a uh, for facility, right? So, it's not SCP. It makes sense that they, like caught the sign head and did it as XCP because all they do is that so it will make sense if they caught it but I don't think it will it's necessary to catch the sign head to make it SCP I don't think so but it will be interesting if they caught it really interesting how they caught it they can get more information from it than dumbass like me so it will be very official if they made something like that I'm one of the first sign head as a species in this thing because it, it is on earth so everything in earth is considered a species so I may amplify implicating that I'm a species that the cyan head is a species there's more than one in this universe so ugh, a bit more scary I know but still I don't think I don't think we need to teach cyan heads how to reproduce because even bacteria with no brain knows how to reproduce Oh, mating um, will be horrifying, but still, yeah, it, they 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 reproduce. So species, silent heads, uh, they reproduce. Bad news. Yes, I know. Uh, still, silent heads a species. I'm gonna say silent head. Uh, a bit controversial, maybe. I don't think so, but it could be. Silent head. I'm gonna refer silent head as a misnomer because. The primary, I don't think the Siren Head with the Siren Head is the actual primary species of this thing. I think that's just a subspecies that is adopted nearby campsite or whatever, a festival site or whatever thing that has a Siren Head on top of something. And there are many depictions of that having like a lamp head on it or like a electric post head on it and stuff. So yeah, these are subspecies. What about the main species? I am think that the main species having no head or just having bush or like a tw tree twigs as a head. That would make sense because it is covered up with tree. So it would make sense to it having like a tree twig of a thing. So now the silent head may look more like the droids from the Lord of the Rings than the actual silent head. So yeah it will be less interesting but it now this thing has a big big description as a whole species now so it'll be really interesting to depict this as a species 
primary thing. This is mainly roaming around the forests because they are mostly in forest. Really interesting theories. If I'm going to talk about the anatomy of a siren head, I have to go up to low, means head to toe. So I'm going to describe about the anatomy of the siren head, which we're going to talk about the mouth. The oral cavity of the siren head is a bit interesting because it don't have a lip to it. Instead of that, there's an outer part of the mouth and there's an inner part of the mouth. Why I'm saying it's an outer part? Because most of the time, all the time that's depicted is always the mouth is always open wide to chomp on anyone who's the prey and stuff. I don't think they don't have a lip, they have a lip, but they are thin membrane. You may ask like why a thin membrane, why not a full-fledged lip, right? If you see the appearance of the siren head, the siren head has a generally have a less muscle mass than any other species like a human. So having your full-blown lip can be difficult to pull in and pull out or open and stuff. So instead of having it a full-fledged mouth or lip, it has a really thin membrane that just covers up the mouth when it's not in use. So that why there's a thin membrane because it's easy to pull apart. Even how much of a less muscle mass it has, it's really easy to pull apart when it needed to be. So I'm imagining the cyan head doesn't have a mouth instead of that. It doesn't have a lip, instead of that it has thin membrane that is keeping keeping the mouth shut and having nothing unnecessary go inside Cyan Head's mouth. And I'm gonna talk about the teeth of the Cyan Head. It's a bit wishy-washy, it's just there for place holding it, because it seems under evolved. Because Cyan Head is evolving, it's constantly evolving to make new things so Teeth looks under under evolved and still going under evolution, so it seems like that because there's more randomized teeth, randomized size to teeth. It looks like anomalies and abnormalities in the size of the teeth, and the shape of the teeth. Some of them are sharp, some of them are just crooked. Some of them just looks like a human teeth. Doesn't that doesn't work at all? This could describe that the skin and the the cyan head has a really petite body form because most of the food is not properly chewed or swallowed or not well digested. Oh, Sun has a digestive system by the way. I'm coming there. Don't worry about it. So, so that can explain why it's really undernourished even though it eats humans and eats animal on a regular basis. It's still slender with a really long time because it cannot process the food from the oral cavity. So that's maybe a primary reason why it's a bit petite in form, in body form. So it could explain a lot that why it has a really less of a muscle mass than any other humanoid that we are seeing nowadays. If I want to talk about the tongue, it's yes, it is under evolved, but it is a working tongue. It's not just a, a, a hunk of flesh that's just sitting there. It is a working tongue that moves along and stuff. So, why am I talking about the mouth really extensively? Imagine, let's just remember this. Siren Head is notoriously known to mimic voices. And there is a theory that's like a, a tape record is inside, coiled up, and it's recording all the time. It's just like, look, I don't want that. I refuse to believe that. Even though Trevor Henderson actually said it, I'm not going to believe that. Because I want it to be all natural. I want this to be an organic pin. I don't want to stuff another machine to justify why it's doing this. It's, it's kind of dishonest in my opinion. So I'm sorry. Look, let's imagine mimicry. There's the art where many people mimic each other. Or a, a big celeb's voice to each other. Okay? Mimicry as a hobby. Like a hobby. Many people can do mimicry as a hobby. So imagine this, you can't even do mimicry, a way better mimicry as a hobby, like the two to three minutes a day or two to three hours a day, you can do a way better job in mimicry. Let's imagine to Siren Head where it has to do it for survival, it would be a master at it. 
So let's imagine this. Look, uh, the, the theory that's all around this is always the voices of the survivors that are screamed at it. So it's the, it always speaks of the, 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 the survivors' voices and says the victims' voices and such. Let's imagine, well, it's we. Let's imagine it has a tape record inside it. One, if the victim voices that all the time, victim shouts at the danger, not just saying names. Even though it's saying the actual another guy's name, they won't be normally normal with normal tone on just saying Jason. Jason, they will be yelling at his name or just saying help loudly. But it's always depicted as these other beings are coming after them by normal voices or they are actually replayed very particularly and very believably or in, even in varying tones of it. So I can see that this is like, you know, this is actually mimicry that is well mastered by the organism. And no, I'm not gonna say it's the tape record theory or something. I don't believe in it. It's a really master mimicrist. So if this thing will give more depth and make the organism way more scary than having a tape record jammed up his ass, okay? I want this to be really interesting character. I just want this, okay? So, yes. That could be a reason. Now the monster could be way more menacing than we ever thought. It's not just a tape record. It can actually mimic my voice and call anyone that I like in wearing, like, you know, like wearing tones or like help and normal help or just luring me in. Like, hey, hey, dude, I'm here. Jason, I'm here. Uh, I'm Jason, I think that's like a recent story. I mean, that's why I'm saying Jason a lot. I'm sorry, I'm not creepy. If any Jasons are watching, I'm sorry. I'm not calling you for love of God. That's the recent story I backed up. Sorry, that's why Jason is in my mind. I'm sorry, don't worry about it. So, that's the reason why it's... Now it's way more menacing than having a tape recorder. So, yes. And there's another theory that's going... Not, not theory. There's another speculation that's going on. That when it's idle or it's quote-unquote at sleep, it always releases white noises or random noises. This thin membrane makes sense now because the... Look, normally snoring is normally due to a muscle depression on your throat region. Sometimes that may, that may cause muscle vibration that comes out at snoring. And sometimes people whistle in their sleep because even though every muscle are fine, sometimes a bit of a slip on your lip can make a whistle noise. So imagine that. Because of the weaker muscle mass and the weaker membrane, the snoring is coming out. It's literally snoring. It's so sleeping, it's snoring. It's a bit adorable, but... Uh, I don't think I can say it as adorable, but still, it's a, it's the most innocent thing that I can say with this. Oh, it's snoring, you know? It's the only innocent thing I can say about this thing. So, yeah, I think we have to enjoy this till we go into the next parts. I will give you time, guys some time for this. <sighs> so, respiratory system. Does it actually... This thing actually bleeds and stuff? I don't think so, because normally attacks are always at new, like afternoon or evening or nights. Not on bright daylight, because, duh, obviously, the, the, in the bright daylight, it can add, the, the, predator, uh, the, the victim can actually see you. So, obvious hunter instinct, you're not gonna go outside for hunting. Is it an obvious? Yes, sure. But, I'm gonna guess this organism is doing photosynthesis which is mean you know getting sunlight and absorbing the sunlight with sun that the skin of the creature and making synthesizing its own food from the sunlight it getting like plants so I'm gonna say it's a photosynthesis I don't think it has a, a dedicated respiratory system with the nostril 
and a huge lungs I don't think there's room for lungs maybe but they're probably dead lungs so I don't think they can breathe through it so yeah no I don't think that it has like a respiratory system not in the depicted images anyway so yeah I, I think they're the proper thing to say is like they're actually photosynthesizing like getting energy from the sun and stuff that's why they don't move in the morning but they move rapidly in the nights they're just storing up and stuff so and it, this could be also like the reason why they minimal they're having minimal movements because they're moving slowly because they don't want to rush in and waste too much power if the victim runs away all the energy is gone and all night it has to be very tired and has to stay in a place so it can't lose that kind of interest for uh, just a prey and stuff you know what I mean circulatory system like does it has a heart I don't think so because uh, as I said it's photosynthesizing so there's no need for rapidly pumping blood but I don't think pumping blood essentially needs a heart to it I am definitely sure there's circulation there is fluid circulation in the organism but these are not complex fluids like blood Blood is way too complex than fluid. These are fluid that just carries nutrition and stuff for the actual organism that is circulating throughout the thing. So, yeah, there is circulation, but these, these circulation, so circulatory systems are not complex as we know. With, like, with the heart and stuff, I don't think so. I don't think they have a heart. Probably a cold one, but not really. <laughs> GIT, gastrointestinal tract, or digestive system. Yes, they have a digestive system. That's why they're eating people. Or else they don't have any reason to eat people, you know? And you may seem like, Vic, there is photosynthesis. Why do they need to eat people? Maybe it's a really l large organism. Do you really think the end, it doesn't have a really surface area to absorb a lot of sun? It is long and limber. It's really thin and it's long. It's a large creature with a really limber, like, limber organism. It has no surface area. It's very, very less of a surface area to get only, to survive on solely, only on photosynthesis. So they need some sustenance more than the sun. So, yes, they devour humans. Well, rarity, by the way, because I don't think like 8,000 8, people are going into camps and not coming back there are some rarities are going on around this place so I don't think that's a, like a really common thing but I I can tell their diets are herbivores and carnivores Maybe, makes them omnivores that they do both leaves plants foods and also animals and such animals and such animals humans and such so whatever I think they are a mixed, they're having a mixed diet. They're not vegetarians or just pure non-vegetarians. I think they eat both of them. Because anyway, this coming, going to the mouth, everything is sustenance. So, yes. I don't think they're just pure seeking human kind of things. Because there's no reason to be in a forest if you're just looking for human. You can go to a city and hide there to lure off humans and such. So there's no reason to be in the forest constantly if you are just human hungry creature. That's that will make no sense. If you're just it the organism is just human seeking. It doesn't need to be in the forest, by the way. And the digestive tracts of uh, well, you may say what kind of speculation do you have? I am always seeing the games because they are the only motion that I'm seeing from Siren Head. So while seeing the game, at least the first game. The, the corpse are torn up and they are like without any skin so they are they're like what they are like melted out so by seeing this it's just Siren Head picks up the organ picked up the victim swallowed them digested them probably they sometime even sometime the shirts are not even like synthesized because they are polymers or complex thing they can't be digested by Siren Head so and they comes out and it poops out as rotted human. They are melted off humans. 
and mostly the kill the victim is killed by cyanide heads blows or grabs by this clawy hands and such complex hands and such so mostly they are killed by the hits or stabs by the cyanide heads more likely they're getting devoured mostly they're dead mostly being dead to be honest so if i have to rate the jt track or gastric track i'm gonna say it's really weak because it never like it never digest anything completely at least humans they're not digested at like at all they're not bones they're not bone level things are coming out they, they are literally coming out but mm, like most of the flesh out maybe the epithelium is burned off because it's a gastric juice what are you gonna do about it so yes it is really really inefficient uh, digestion is going on that we can see now so yes GIT is really weak for Siren Head so I'm gonna say Siren Head's GIT is weak but it can be efficient against smaller creatures like a small deer or critters like squirrel or something it could be completely digested because they are small creatures so that can be obvious but humans are really relatively larger than actual critters like squirrels and stuff they are a little larger than uh, you know than, than actual critters the humans are a little larger so comparing them to critters like squirrels or whatever they're just getting trapped in cyan head's head like in like in arms and such eats and it's completely digested because it's really really small and it has really lighter bones than actual humans so yes the GIT the gastric juice of cyan head can be efficient against small critters but not really against humans mostly the humans are killed by the blows or hits that's given by cyan head more likely to get devoured by cyan head so i'm gonna say the GIT is not like not really impressive it's still evolving it's under evolved it will be still evolving a scooty system in a siren head can be simple it is really simple because as i previously said it just poops out it doesn't have any complex it doesn't have any complex excretory system and anything of anything it just poops out or just i don't think it even poops out i think it's regurgitated and just spits out i don't think it even have a butthole so i don't think it is have a, a excretory system it might be have quote unquote secondary excretory system because it have it still has like a fluid circulation within so maybe it sweats maybe it evaporate it releases fluids on its surface of the skin that can evaporate on on the sunlight that can be that is considered a secondary excretory system by sweat you know not the primary ones but maybe sweating is male part of the excretory system for cyan head because it's not advanced it's not one of the advanced organisms that we know now it is still evolving i'm still saying this so excretory system not really i don't think it's complex at all it just sweats i guess and I was just pooping out. I don't think it even poops. I don't think it has a butthole or something. So it's, I think it just regurgitate the humans out. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's an advanced creature. <laughs> Production of siren heads. Uh, I don't, this is getting weird, but uh, I don't want to talk about this. But hey, guess what? If I had to be really honest with you, <clears throat> most of the cyan heads are commonly in forests. It is less, it is really less common for a human to having any intercourse publicly. And it is more common that animals having intercourse openly. So maybe, maybe cyan heads reproduce like animals. Uh, it's, it's not. This it sounds totally wrong. You know what? Uh, that you, see, it's getting weird. Go away. Go away. Conclusion of this video is, I was gonna make a video on the siren head slash any folklore creatures. I was gonna because a spooky episode is like you know it's really fun to make and such. 
but I didn't expect to make a whole anatomy video on the siren head. It was fun, by the way, but it took way too much job to, you know, articulate some of the points and such. Maybe I got burnt out in a mid of point, maybe, because I was tired and the zoom was hitting up and such. So, yeah, that could be some reason if I'm mumbling at the mid of the video and such, so... Yeah, <laughs> and huge thank you for Turb Henderson, by the way, because he's the guy who made this stuff. Go and check his stuff out on Instagram and and Twitter and stuff. He's the sole purpose why I'm here making this video, so hell yeah. Dude, thank you so much that you made this. Make more stuff, like, make more stuff, folklore stuff. Do whatever you want, you're awesome. And his links are down below, you can check him out whenever you want. And... The speculation that I made are more inclined to be a earthly being than other theories that suggesting it's as an alien ghost or god. So yeah, <laughs> uh, it's a bit against the grade, but I hope this is getting what this this video receives well. And the 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 the, the, the points I make in this video are just speculations and opinions. These are not actual canons or don't don't I'm not claiming to be this as canon maybe a god say like oh you don't have any imagination and says yeah that's just being me being an asshole okay don't worry about it just don't just brush it off and enjoy the video and finally that's all for the episode folks thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe ding that bell so whenever i'm posting a late update or an early update you will get the notification for my videos so yes thank you so much for watching and as always i will see you guys in the next time bye